we just have this one data point that is unambiguous, so we've got to re-examine everything we thought we knew. So it's kind of opened up this whole new world of First American Studies. Um, the entire area around Page Latin right now is a cypress swamp, and so it looks very primitive. And there's gators and snakes, and you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, literally, even though you're about 40 miles from Tallahassee. The site is currently about four miles from the coast, depending on how you count the coast on the Osceola River, but at the time it was occupied, it would have been more than 200 kilometers from the ocean. So this would have been an isolated pond not connected to a modern river system. These deposits along the edge of this pond stayed wet for 15,000 years, I mean, um, more or less constantly, which allowed the organics to preserve in them. When we went back, what we found was a stone tool that could not have been made by nature, that was definitely cultural, that dated to 14,550 years ago. Um, we reanalyzed the tusk and figured out that there's no way that the marks on it were made by any natural process, that the easiest explanation is that they were made by people. Now that's significant, A, because the site shows people were definitely here before Clovis, uh, more about 1,500 years before Clovis, but B, because it shows that um, people had to have come to the Americas by a different route than we had accepted because the ice-free corridor that supposedly people came from by land through Canada was not open until 14,000 years ago. It's great because um, you know, we took a site from an ambiguous status to now we've got to reinvestigate everything we thought we knew about the first Americans with one little stone tool. You know, we've got to start over, which for me, it means all of the questions that we thought were answered, we've got to look at why we thought they were answered and figure out what portion of those are correct, what portion's wrong, and we can now start looking and all these places before that we thought, oh, this is too old, there's no point in looking in these layers, now there's point. So that's pretty exciting.